In today's video, I'm going to go over how we came up with this uh, setup in Google. It was basically a symmetry setup. It was also a royal setup because we did have price above the 200 simple moving average, above the 50 simple moving average, and then the 513 EMA combo was bullish with the 5 above the 13, and the market was giving us a pullback. Okay, so we're going to go down to a blank chart, and I'm just going to start this over so you get an idea of how it gets done. All right, so all right, we know that we're looking for this low here. So one of the first things that I would have done was run the symmetrical projections. That's where we're comparing swings in the same direction. And sometimes swings inside of the swings we're also going to use. So let's start with that. Let's run what I like to call symmetry projections. It's when I'm running a projection using three points on the chart and only using the 100% and here, for example, I take this high to this low, and 100% would have been projected from this high. And then we also have this swing high to low, 100% from that high, this high to low. And then you'll see that goes in, that's just a little bit lower than the other area. But then you can also run, you know, the smaller swing. So let's try this one. We might be through it, but I'm going to try it anyway. So high to low. Ah, that's actually close. We're still above it. And then you could also do this one separately. Okay, it's not going to be too much different than some of these others, but I did that. Then here's another projection, high to low, project. But what if I did the smaller swing too, high to low? It's the swing inside the swing. Boom. There's our perfect hit. This one, I'm pretty sure we went through, but I'll show you. Okay, yeah, we went through it. But then we can do this projection, high to low. We would have also done um, the smaller swing within that swing. Okay. And yeah, it's tedious, but guess what? It's worth it. Okay, this one we went through. And how about this one? This high to this low. Oh, yeah, that's like right on top of the other. So you can see where the symmetry came from. And you could have stopped right there. Um, but, you know, I, I usually like to run other price relationships and just see if it hits. But I believe this came in lower. I ran an extension that came in pretty much on the lower end of that. So I wasn't even showing that on the uh, cluster anymore. And then I would have also done a retracement just using two points. And we had the prior low to high. Uh, you can see we went through the 50%, but there would have been um, another 618 underneath that. So basically if we, uh, yeah. So here you can see that we definitely had the three um, symmetry projections in here, but there were also some additional levels that uh, I'm not showing on the original chart anymore. But this is how we come up with the work. We run all possible retracements, extensions, and projections. Actually, all of them that are possible, maybe not, because that means that we it would be unlimited. We'd be going all over the place here. But, you know, we use the most um, or the most recent swings or swings that we feel are relevant to use for the current markets. And then we go for that from there. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, please like and um, subscribe. And also, you know, I told you the target. The first target is 209.12. And that comes from just running this high to this low and running the extensions. Target 1 is the 1272, target 2 is the 1618, and if it goes beyond there, then I have a target 3 at 222.37. Uh, anytime you get to at least the 1272 extension or close, you, you want to ratchet up stops because many moves do tend to terminate at extensions of prior swings. That's it. Everybody have a great weekend.